like all the babes wear Hanifa, all the bad bees wear Hanifa, okay? All the women <laughs> wear Hanifa. Do you know what I mean? It's not everyday PLT. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fastiana Joyce, if you guys are new here, hello and welcome. So, today is the start of a new series, we're calling this Brand Reviews with SJ, I don't know, I don't know. The aim of this new series is to obviously review certain brands, upcoming brands, um, brands that I've heard of and like have always wanted to try, luxury brands, um, black owned brands, just brands that I want to try, like brands that I've seen and I thought, yeah, I need to definitely purchase something. Obviously, if you're not familiar with me, I I am really big on like fashion although I'm not like fashion savvy like I don't know like all the technical terms and like I've never been to fashion school or like none of that like I'm not like I know it all when it comes to fashion I think I'm street smart rather than like you know real book smart having a nice outfit and looking sexy looking good looking cool is like my favorite thing to do like I love dressing up I love looking good and it's like I'm always gonna be shopping, but I really wanna start doing that more consciously. Like I want to be more conscious with how I spend my money, who I'm investing my money into, and not just be spending, spending, spending and doing hauls and stuff. Like I'm actually overhauls low key. There's obviously a load of like fashion brands out there. Like it's very saturated and I think it can be overwhelming. And you know, when we see things, we often just wanna like just jump on a hype and like just go buy whatever it is. But I think it's very important to like know what you're buying so i feel like i've been neglecting my love for fashion um on the channel so i really want to get back into the song of things and like buying things and really showing you guys what i'm buying because like i said i love doing that. um that babe like i love you know creating outfits i love looking good and like you know trying different outfits and buying clothes like i love shopping like it's literally a passion i have a passion for fashion i personally want to know more about the brands that i'm buying from um especially when it's like a luxury brand or like a black owned brand like i want to know what it is like how did you come to be let us know like who are you what's your ethos what's your mission what's your vision do you know what i mean i want to know those kind of things when you kind of know the story behind the brand and the pieces and the creative direction i feel like it adds an element of more relatability and i think relatability is extremely important so i'll be giving you guys the lowdown and ultimately you guys can obviously make the decision if you want to buy from this brand or if you don't but i'll definitely be giving my honest um unfiltered opinions so that you can make that decision for yourself so i hope you enjoy the video but before we get started make sure to like comment and subscribe obviously if you're not already subscribed what are you doing like why are you here <laughs> no i'm joking but subscribe why not subscribing subscribe support please thank you i love you and i appreciate you okay so on today's episode of brand review with sj we are looking into hanifa guys when I tell you Hanifa has been on my radar for, Hanifa has always stood out as a brand to me. First time I set my eyes on Hanifa was when they were making headlines for being the first virtual fashion show. And from that moment on, I was astounded by who the brand is and like the kind of place that they inserted themselves within the industry. I was very amazed, I was very inspired and I definitely wanted to purchase whatever they were selling because it was like, wow, like, how can they do this? Like, this looks stunning. Hanifa is a black owned brand founded by Hanifa Movemba. So it's a global luxury brand that puts creativity at the heart of strategy. This is what they say, enabling them to be trendsetters while crafting luxury with an ethical approach. Their designs have been worn by celebrities such as Fantasia, Sierra, Kylie Jenner, Zendaya, like the girls know about Hanifa like if you don't know about Hanifa then where have you been like who are you have you been living under a rock like what do you mean you don't know Hanifa like all the babes wear Hanifa all the bad bees wear Hanifa okay all the women <laughs> wear Hanifa do you know what I mean it's not everyday PLT <laughs> I'm joking. So Anifa, the founder, was working in retail, studying fashion and merchandising at Morgan State University. I think this was like in her early 20s. On the day of her 21st birthday, Anifa designed and sewed her first dress because she was broke and didn't have anything to wear. So she gathered scraps of fabric and did her first design. Imagine how creative you must be, how talented you must be to be able to just craft your own birthday dress. 
that is a dream i believe that i just have an eye for what looks good and what doesn't look good and like you know what's good fashion what's bad fashion i feel like i just have that eye but when it comes to like really putting in the work crafting sewing patterns all of that count me out like that's when it gets a bit too much like out I, I, I don't want to be involved you know how much pressure that is that is a lot of pressure so big up to herself for being able to do that for herself that is like talent and creativeness to a t at first she just loved making cute pieces for herself and would post them on instagram and then she began getting several sales from obviously the items that she was showcasing on her instagram and i actually believe that's like the best way to like promote your brand show yourself actually using the brand wearing the brand especially when it comes to fashion i feel like you should be your own muse just being natural being authentic and it goes back to that relatability i feel like people definitely relate and would be more inclined to purchase from someone who they know more about you know someone who's more trustworthy we like to trust people so in a year Anifa had enough made to order pieces to launch her first collection in her fashion brand Hanifa and was doing everything by herself Anifa had a creative vision but when it came to running the business she felt like a failure so she shut down the company in 2015 and decided to focus on herself and soul search throughout this soul searching journey she finds that a lot of people come up to her and like you know kind of reinforce that idea that she was meant to be a fashion designer and that's what kind of brought her back into that world and begin creating pieces again eventually in 2016 she jumped back in and never looked back so the name Hanifa the brand comes from Anifa who's the founder and it's an Arabic name and when pronounced in Arabic it is spelled well it is pronounced with a H so she just added the H in there which made Hanifa which is Anifa but Hanifa and the name actually means true believer so with the brand Anifa believes that women should be empowered to break barriers achieve excellence in every aspect of their lives and make their own rules and we know that women can do anything they set their minds to and they just want to essentially help women get there they just want to help the women you know so then the brand made headlines for being the first designer to do a virtual 3d fashion show during the pandemic no models or front row celebrities this fashion show it it looked incredible you can literally see the shapes outlined in a clothes that were displayed it was literally so magnificent i'd never seen anything like it and this was the first time that i set my eyes on Henny for the brand and i thought that it was literally monumental groundbreaking so that was my first time hearing of Hanifa and I remember the internet going crazy and I watched a virtual show and felt tremendously inspired by the art um, and the fact that it was a black woman who was setting the standards like she set pace uh, that collection where she did the 3d virtual show was a pink label Congo collection which was inspired by her motherland Congo and it was a means of bringing forth awareness to the mining of Colton in Congo about 60 to 70 percent of the world's source of Colton comes from Congo so imagine the damage that that would do for the country in regards to extracting that like there would be a lot of pressure to obviously get the coltan out and obviously distribute it across the world where it's needed it's all through the black market they abuse children through child labor they abuse mothers and women through molestation sexual abuse so essentially this obviously affects families and obviously the entire country is obviously in a crisis because it's a lot of extraction it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of demand for this colton and they provide terrible conditions for the individuals who are mining so she just wanted to shed light on this whole situation which i actually think is really really sad um so she incorporated many aspects of congo and like her country into the designs from the colors to national landmarks and i thought that was really beautiful and she stood by her country and made the world aware like through her fashion that this is where she comes from and this is what her country is suffering at the moment i just thought that was very human of her very wise of her very empathetic of her and it just shows you how human she is it gives you another level to relate to her because she showed you this side of her where you know she's from congo and she's bringing awareness to the situation that's going in there and it just makes the brand more personable more likable and that's why i believe that we should really know where we're investing our money into so hanifa has launched several collections she's brought forth spring summer and fall winter collections since 2021 my favorite collections so far i believe has been the spring spring summer 22 and the fall winter 21 because there was so much knitwear in that collection and boy when I show you the quality of the knit 
onto the items that I purchased then. So I bought two pieces so far from Hanifa and I love them both. I bought two pieces only because boy, the price point, it is crazy. Uh, let me not say crazy, but it's crazy. Like for the average babe working a nine to five, like under 35, 30K yearly, it is a lot of money for you to purchase one piece of clothing like it is a lot of money do you know what i mean so that's why i consider it an investment because i won't be having to buy regular pieces because i know that i've got a really good piece that i can carry with me for a long period of time girl math obviously the price point with hanifa is definitely on the higher end and i can't afford to be buying items from hanifa constantly so i bought what i could so i bought one item in 22 i believe early 2022 and the second item i bought from hanifa was early this year as well although i can't show you guys several pieces within her brand her collections i believe that from the two items that i have you'll definitely be able to gather the kind of quality that hanifa presents us with and i'm grateful for my pieces i'm grateful that i was able to afford those two pieces so i would love to share them with you guys and obviously share my thoughts on those items so i bought two dresses they are quite different from each other my first order was the olivia maxi dress which has a rib knit detail it's stretchy and it comes in three different colors vivid blue bright lime and raisin so this is what she looks like this is the green i got this in a green and i think i got this in a oh i got it in an extra small i didn't know i got it in an extra small I thought I got it in a small um, but it's a long long maxi dress so the tall babes not to worry like this will definitely fit you I'm gonna show you what this looks like on and give you my thoughts I have obviously tried it on before but I haven't worn it yet like it's still got the tag I'm waiting for the perfect moment to wear my Hanifa I feel like I'm waiting for a nice holiday um, where I can bring out these pieces because these ain't regular pieces. I can't just wear them on an average day. Like these are Hanifa. This is good quality, do you know what I mean? So I'm just waiting for the perfect time to wear them. So like I said, I'm waiting for a holiday where I can wear this. So let me try this on and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the Olivia Maxi knit dress looks like. I think I might even have to wear a little corset for this one because I feel like it's very, defining of my stomach at the moment the current stomach situation but anyways this is a size extra small and it's the i think it's the lime green color and as you can tell it's very snugly very fitting like it looks gorgeous on the body knit fabric the quality i don't know if y'all can tell but this is a quality piece like this is so gorgeous like it looks very nice on the body like this is absolutely gorgeous i love it and i love the fact that it's really long obviously it's a maxi knit dress but i believe that the tall babes will definitely be impressed by the length of this dress as well because i think it even it nearly covers my toes not quite but definitely goes over the ankle for me so i think it would be perfect for tall girls as well it's just a great fitted dress. I feel like this dress would be really great, like I said, for like holidays. So like your evening looks or even in the UK, rainy, cloudy, disgusting UK. This could still be a really good evening dress um, for your dinners um, because it's very warm, very tight, like I said, a thick fabric and it will definitely keep you warm in this UK weather. So I love this dress. Again, I might have to wear a little corset because it's defining my stomach a little bit too much. Like it's very defining, like it's very fitted. And this is an extra small, guys. And I told you guys that I'm now like a size 10. So the fact that the extra small fits me like this is obviously very telling as to how the fabric is and how stretchy it is and how it will complement your body. So yeah, this is how it looks. What do you guys think? Do you like? What do you think? I don't know what kind of neckline it's called, but I feel like it's very modest. It's very, you know, it's not showing anything. <laughs> the fact it's not showing, I was gonna say it's not showing too much, but it's literally not showing anything, like your arms, your legs, your chest area, everything is covered. So it definitely be suitable for the modest babes out there, the babes that don't like to show too much. Like this would be a great dress for you to purchase. So I would definitely, Recommend this dress to a friend. 10 out of 10, I love it. I love the fit. I love the color, I feel like it's very unique. 
gives you something you know different to stand out in and yeah that's it so the first dress so the olivia maxi knit dress was from their fall winter 21 i believe the second item that i bought from hanifa was the isla knit dress and this one is from their spring summer 22 drop so this was created with a textured fabric which includes like an off shoulder detail and a cutout across the waist and back it is a stretchy knit wool and acrylic blend i got this in a size medium which i believe was a rookie mistake i don't know why i did that i just i don't know like i just thought like i'd get gained quite a bit of weight <laughs> so I just wanted to be on the safe side like this would definitely fit me so I don't know why I got the extra small in that and then jumped straight to a medium especially knowing how Hanifa fits like I'll show you guys the fit exactly like I believe that you need to be sizing down with Hanifa because it is a snug but stretchy fit but this dress I was like oh my gosh gorgeous perfect for a holiday of course I'm always thinking about my holidays um but obviously the price kept me away i was like you know what i'm gonna wait you know maybe i'll maybe she's gonna have a cheeky sale soon and i'll purchase it then like i was just like really like oh my gosh no like i can't afford to spend that much on a dress at the moment um so i had my eyes on this dress when the collection dropped and obviously the price kept me away but when i saw it on my jammer she looked phenomenal as soon as i saw that i said yeah you don't got to tell me twice i'm buying that like yesterday so this is what the material looks like close up and as you can tell it's very stretchy very stretchy like you can size all the way down and yeah i got this in a medium and again i haven't worn it still got the tags on because i'm waiting for the perfect moment to bring out this dress it's probably going to be on holiday somewhere you know i love me my holidays but this is just such a gorgeous dress i'm going to show you what it looks like on okay guys so this is the second dress so this is the isla knit dress and guys this dress is so gorgeous so what a gorgeous 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 dress like from the moment i set my eyes on this dress i just knew that i had to have it like it's so gorgeous this design like the whole you know asymmetric cut out with the ring the gold ring it just looks so stunning perfect for holidays but like i could see myself on holiday in a yak shaking my ass somewhere in this dress this dress looks too good like this dress looks too good too good for england number one look at the color it is a stunning stunning dress like this dress i am literally gobsmacked like it's literally so cute Bear in mind, I've obviously tried this on before, but right now it's looking extra good. Oh, and I feel like this detail in here kind of alludes to more curves than I actually have. Like it's literally such a cute dress, like the dip here and like the cutout, like even the cut like at the back. It's definitely enhancing whatever curves that I have. So I love this dress. Again, the fabric fit fit thick quality fabric like it looks <laughs> too good like i'm so excited to go on holiday and wear this dress somewhere in the sun it is so freaking cute i got this in a medium and i don't know i definitely feel like i should have sized down especially because the previous dress was in an extra small and you saw the way it fit like it was perfect snug fit i feel like i could have definitely done with a small in this one maybe i don't know because it looks pretty tight at the moment but obviously it is a stretchy fabric so i don't know i think i could have definitely have done with a small in this one um but i'm not mad at the fit i was even thinking to tailor it because i think at the time when i bought it when i first tried it on i was a little bit smaller than what i am now so it was a little bit looser um but i think evidently i've gained a little bit more weight so it's definitely fitting better than the last time I tried it. So I don't think I need to get it tailored. I think it looks perfect. Like it looks outstanding. This looks so gorgeous. Like I love this fit. I love this dress. Uh, this is such a cute dress. If you ain't get your hands on this one yet, guys, defo go purchase because you're missing out. This is the perfect, perfect holiday dress. So thank you Hanifa so 
I've obviously only got two items, but there's obviously more items that I would love to purchase from Hanifa, especially that they've dropped a new collection. I think it was their... Well, aside from the bridal collection, which I'm in no place to be wearing at the moment. Yeah, they dropped their fall winter 23 collection. So there are certain items that I still want from Hanifa. I'm just bucking up the courage to purchase them. If you've watched my previous video on my birthday wish list, you would have seen that Hanifa is on my wish list. So you would have seen that I had the Asta Acid Jeans on there from their spring summer 23 collection. And these are just some baggy, cool, edgy jeans that I just think I need in my wardrobe ASAP. I just think it looks super flattering because I feel like with jeans I often play it safe. All my jeans kind of look the same, you know, similar washes, you know, if it's not wide fit, it's, you know, mom jeans. Like, I don't believe that I really get out of my comfort zone when it comes to jeans. And these jeans just look like the perfect addition to my wardrobe to really kickstart my confidence in exploring, you know, different types of jeans, different types of washes, different types of patterns. And there's two colors, the Dusty Cedar and the Ash Blue. So not only are these jeans cool and edgy with obviously the wide leg fit and the cut out towards the ankles, I feel that it's just super feminine and that I would be able to get out several wears from the pair of jeans. I feel like I would be able to definitely wear it several different ways and like I said I don't really experiment much when it comes to jeans so I do believe that it would get me out of my comfort zone and allow me to have more fun you know with my outfits. The next Hanifa piece that is on my wish list is the Catalea corset dress. This is a gorgeous statement dress it comes in two different colours white and sunflower and I can definitely see myself wearing this um, on holiday for like an evening look or even on a special occasion like my birthday someone's birthday no not someone's birthday that's actually that would actually be rude <laughs> that would actually be rude so like the cloud light silhouette makes it very unique obviously one of a kind and special for those special moments i also love a good corset like i love a corset i feel like it really enhances a woman's curves a woman's figure and i love corset dresses I don't believe I have many in my wardrobe, but I do love a corset dress. I think they look stunning. And this dress also gives me like, you know, that kind of bailando, that kind of wow, 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 that kind of, that kind of vibe. Like it just gives very like salsa-ish, you know, like holiday type of vibe. I really do believe it gives that. And that's why I think it would be perfect for my travels. I'd definitely take it on holiday with me. So yeah, those are the two pieces that I currently have on my wish list from Hanifa. So I'll definitely be purchasing soon, hopefully when there's a sale. Okay, so to summarize, I obviously love the brand. I love Hanifa. I love Hanifa the person as well. And I believe that we should be investing our money into Hanifa. Although it's spenny and be costing a penny, <laughs> I will continue to purchase from Hanifa most likely. So just some positives that I believe the brand has is that number one, the quality, like I can't stress this enough, like the quality is immaculate like stitching to the brim quality of the fabric to the, like it's just very hugging it's very complimentary to a woman's curve i feel like it's very hugging very stretching and that's everything that i look for when it comes to dresses and skirts and like you know just feeling comfortable i always want something that's like snug and enhances my curves um but it's also comfortable enough for me to be able to move around in the quality of the fabric guys like you'll be able to tell like it's so it's chef's kiss like it's literally one of a kind i i want to know who her manufacturers are i want to know who who is she be getting? I want to know where she's getting this fabric from. I can't stress this enough. Her pieces are high quality, thick fabric. And you know that it will last you for several wears, several washes. It is truly worth every single penny. And you can feel it as soon as you open your package. Like that thickness, that weight of the package. It lets you know this is quality. Like this is quality. Number two, I feel like it's very size inclusive. So sizing goes from extra small to three extra large. I think maybe we could have an extra extra small for like the really petite babes um but the fact that it goes to three extra larges is very inclusive and i believe it caters to all women with all shapes and sizes i believe any woman with any body shape would look good in these dresses i do believe that i'm like an extra small small um because you have to size down at the moment i actually don't even know my size like what my standard size is at the moment because my weight has just been fluctuating so much these past couple of years that i don't know what my set size is but I would say I'm 
I'm usually a small, but I'm definitely more on the medium at the moment. I'm definitely a 10. And yeah, I would definitely size down. Lastly, number three, I think the creativity of the brand is impeccable. I feel like she's very distinct with the designs and I feel like you know a Hanifa piece when you see it. I can tell that she puts in so much thought and effort into obviously her designs, obviously from like her work with, you know, the pink label for Congo, which, you know, incorporated many aspects of her country into the designs. I feel like she's just very intentional with her work and her designs and her craft and I admire that a lot. The only thing I will say though, the only negative, I don't even know if it's a negative, but the only thing that I would point out is the packaging. Unfortunately, I bought these pieces quite a while back, so I won't be able to unbox them with you, but I can tell you that it came in, you know, the standard, um, I guess, delivery bags, like the plastic delivery bags and um, with the name brand Hanifa. And it came in this zip bag it's been so long that even it's rubbed off but you can see because <laughs> I've kept the dresses in here since I bought them because where are they going um, I haven't worn them but you can see it's just a standard kind of Ziploc bag with the Hanifa um, writing across it I just feel like sis could have given us more <laughs> when it came to the packaging um, I just wanted to be a little bit more excited especially with the price point I feel like you know, Ziploc bag is pretty standard. Because she is so different and so distinct in like her niche at the moment as to who Hanifa is, I just expected, um, I just expected the packaging to reflect a little bit more of that, a little bit more creativeness, a little bit more personality in the packaging. I hope that makes sense because I'll be doing a review on the roof shop and when I opened my package from the roof shop I was pleasantly surprised. I was so like oh my gosh like this is so nice of you. Thank you. This is amazing. Like I was amazed by the level of packaging, by the quality of packaging and I feel like that adds to the experience of purchasing of of having your items delivered and you know having that whole unboxing process it just adds to your feelings and your emotions and your likeness towards the brand so I definitely feel that um, the packaging could be improved but other than that I love the brand 10 10 out of 10 no let's say 9 out of 10 because of the packaging and I would definitely recommend to a friend so yeah that's it from me on today's episode of brand review with sj so thank you so much for tuning in i hope that you enjoyed the video i hope that you found it useful and obviously if you would like to see more videos like this then let me know and i'll definitely be purchasing i love to purchase anyway but i'll definitely make more of an effort to make these kind of videos if you enjoy it so let me know by liking comment subscribing let me know and i'll obviously make more videos so let me know if you have any brands in mind that you think i should try out whether it's a luxury brand whether it's a black owned brand whether it's like an upcoming brand like just let me know leave your comments leave your suggestions i'll definitely take you up for it that's it for me i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you liked it and if you stuck with me till the end i love you and i appreciate you and i will catch you in the next one ciao